What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're back with another rebuild. Today, we're rebuilding the Chicago Bears with Chase Claypool now. And um, we are able to go to week 10. I basically, we're here and we have the team. We also have 14 players to negotiate a breakout QB challenge and uh, players we have to upgrade. But let's look at the lineup first. Let's see who we're dealing with. I think, first of all, Justin Fields, if he has the chance to go up to Superstar, would be crazy. A uh, very dull team overall, though. It's nothing really special. You have a few pieces that you like. Cole Komet, obviously Darnell Mooney, uh, Chase Claypool here now as well. But you have Tevin Jenkins on the offensive line. Um, linebackers need some work. You traded away uh, Roquan Smith. Uh, Jalen Johnson's pretty good. Kyler Gordon's been playing okay. I think I'd rather him be CB2. Um, Eddie, uh, Eddie Jackson, he's been okay. Uh like he's been pretty good this season, but uh, as far as his standards go, he's he's doing okay. Uh, probably not one of his best years, but he's definitely still playing at a pretty high level. So I do like to see that. Let's look at players that we have to negotiate uh, this season. We have 155 million. As much as I like David Montgomery, I in real life uh, I don't like him. <laughs> I like Khalil Herbert way better. We don't need Byron Pringle. We don't need most of these guys. Riley Reefs here. We're not gonna. Sign him back. Nikhil Harry, there might be something there, like as a lower guy. We can try to offer him like this, and if he takes it, cool. Uh, yeah, okay, he'll still he'll still be here, but nothing crazy. Uh, we don't need that. Kari, uh, Kari Blasig, I don't know, I'm not even going to try. Nicholas Morrow's here as well, not someone I'm looking at. We're losing all of our wide receiver depth if we don't, depth if we don't sign back, but I'm okay with that. Um, and then, yeah, just most of these guys are not here to stay anyways, and I don't see any reason we bring back any of those guys except the one that we did, and that was Nikhil Harry. But breakout QB now, we have um, a chance to see Justin Fields as a superstar, uh, uh, just a superstar player, so we'll see what uh, he can do, see what he needs. 350 scrimmage yards, four touchdowns, one or fewer uh, turnovers, I think. Is that that's what it said? Upgrade players. We'll just uh, auto upgrade both those guys. Byron Pringle up to a seventy six overall might play well, but let's see how uh, this next game goes against Detroit and their defense to see if we can get ourselves a breakout um, a breakout quarterback. Let me see if we can get Justin Fields his superstar uh, superstar dev trait. Uh, let's see here. Not too much. All right, so he did not meet the restrictions. He did not get superstar dev, so he'll still be at star dev, but we do have a breakout linebacker now, which is pretty cool. Uh, prospect spotlight, and we have a bunch of stuff. So I'll just go ahead and do all this, and I'll get meet you guys when it's time to uh, do something. I don't know. And we finish at 6-11. and 11. Very good for us. We, we did so well this season. Justin Fields was not good. <laughs> That's just one way to put it. Uh... Yeah, as far as Justin Fields goes, this is, uh, we can definitely reach more. Almost had 1,000 yards rushing, though. Uh, David Montgomery, 4 yards per carry is pretty good. But Khalil Herbert, 5.5 5 per carry on 767 yards on 100. That's really nice. Maybe he can step up and be the the RB1 here. I'm curious what his overall is right now. 70? He's a 78 overall. They have him that high. That's awesome. That is good news. Chase Claypool came in late. They'll produce quite a little bit. Darnell Mooney, not too much. I'm not even bother looking at the defense, considering most of the guys that put up stats aren't even going to be here other than the corners. Uh, upgrading our players now. I mean, these are all just... Oh, no. We actually have some good players. Darnell Mooney, all of them. Uh, they'll get upgraded, and we can move to the offseason. Actually, not just the Super Bowl. We can move to the offseason. Looking at the 2022 season recaps, these Philadelphia Eagles end up winning the... Uh, Super Bowl, Jalen Hurts wins Super Bowl MVP, Nick Sirianni, Coach of the Year. Josh Allen wins um, MVP, Cooper Cup. Actually got hurt in real life. Uh, didn't get hurt in the simulation. Will win Offensive Player of the Year per usual. Micah Parsons does well. Garrett Wilson, Jalen Petrie actually wins. That's cool. I haven't seen uh, Jalen Petrie win Defensive Rookie of the Year yet this year. So that's pretty cool to see. Uh, and upgrading our players now. Just a bunch of nobodies. We don't really care for uh, no offense to all of them and their families if they're watching, but I'm pretty sure they aren't. But um, yeah, go to see who we have to resign. If anyone 
we might have some second thoughts about, but I'm not thinking uh, about David Montgomery. It's just not going to happen. 26, I know that's pretty young still, and he probably wants... It's not too much money, but I'm just not willing to give it to him. Um, and then most of these guys are just not what we need to bring here or bring back here, I guess. So let all of them walk and let's see what, who we can get in our free agency class. There's a not, not top end talent, but let me guess there's a few good ones. Tony Pollard's here. Kareem Hunt might be one, but, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. Juju. Um, I mean, Jack Conklin would be good, uh, but he also wouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of money to a 29 year old that we're not even like looking to, but like rebuild or anything, and then quarterback Geno Smith is here. He could be someone we bring in, but probably not. Um, and then down the board, not really anyone I really want to bring in. I mean, if someone young's down the board, like I don't know, out of seventy overall, if someone's like twenty five years old, Travis Homer, I'm good. I'd rather not spend money on that. But wide receiver, we could definitely use one. Not a big time one. We don't need anything too uh too big, but. I mean, a guy like Paris Campbell could work uh, just for this upcoming season. Braxton Berrios is here. I think I'd rather go with a guy like um, like Paris Campbell. or I mean, Van Jefferson's here. He'd also kind of be long-term if I were to sign him. I'll give him four years, and we can try that right there and see if he wants to come to Chicago, but I wouldn't put my money on all that. But he'll bring in a former NFC North <laughs> tight end. Along with Cole Komet, I think that could be pretty fun, but I don't I don't think we're going to. At left tackle, no one I'm really intrigued. Uh no one really intrigues me. And then looking around, nothing too crazy anywhere really. Um no one that's striking any interest at all. Uh Jawan Taylor might be the only guy I might consider and I'd give him quite a little bit of money, considering that he doesn't want to come here in the first place. So uh, interesting, but Bryce Huff's here. It can improve immediately on the offensive line. I think I know as crazy as this sounds, but I might as well just sign Dean Lowry over him. We'll keep him for two years, lower the money, um, see how strong of a deal it still is. Still okay, nothing crazy, but it's an instant upgrade on the defensive line. It doesn't matter wherever. Um, can only sign two more people. So not looking to go really big here in this first year of free agency. Still looking around. Maybe a linebacker would do for me. So these will be our contract offers right here. All these guys, Aziz Alshair and Drew Tranquil are new for you guys. You guys haven't seen those two yet. But going after both of those guys, Juwan Taylor, Dean Lowry, and um, Van Jefferson, obviously. So we'll evaluate our offers and see who can make their way over here. We get... I mean, three pretty good ones. Ben Jefferson's on for four years. Not bad. Paid him quite a bit of money, actually. Jawan Taylor's over here for five years. It's pretty good. He's still very young, 25. And Aziz Alshire, just to be a good linebacker immediately, as we definitely needed that. But have a couple of offers on Drew Tranquil that are a little bit higher than ours. So, I mean, I'm willing to spend the money, especially if it's short term. Uh, if we go two years, four million, leave the bonus as is. I think that we might have a good chance at him now uh, over ever. But um, Dean Lowry, we can kind of raise this deal, go two, and then go 3.7 and 3 million and get him to a way better deal, uh, especially if it's only for two years. We'll go ahead and evaluate the offer now. And um, did go ahead and get Dean Lowry, but still up in the air about Drew Tranquil, which is fine. And uh, obviously, David Montgomery is still here. Not going to put an offer on him. I see our, our cornerbacks, and we have Jalen Johnson, Kendall Vildor, and Kyler Gordon, and I'm like, they're good, but it's going to take some time to develop them. But I'd rather have, like, Jalen Johnson, who's crazy young still, and then Levi Wallace, and then Kyler Gordon as the vet developmental guy. So if we can get Levi Wallace, he's 28, give him three years, give him this sort of contract, a lot of threes around the board. He wants to come here. And so far, we have a really good offer on him. So I would be fine with that. So we have Levi Wallace. And then we also have Jalen Johnson. And then Kyler Gordon playing in that third corner role. And then Drew Tranquil, the Raiders kind of snap back. I do want him. I just don't want him long term. Two years, I'll give him 4.4 or 4.5. Give him 2.3. This offer should be very strong. 
Uh, we're overpaying like crazy. It's not strong enough. We'll see who he wants to go with, though. Um, my signings, we get them. We didn't. And I don't think we got uh, the other guy we offered on as well. I forgot who we even offered on. But that'll be it for like the free agency class, I guess. We don't really need anybody else. I don't, I don't see. So on to the draft. Oh, so we're here in the draft now. Seattle's actually picking one overall. And um, we're picking at eight overall. But we're going to go ahead and look at the draft board. See who's there. See who we like. See what we, like, what we need, right? So, I mean, obviously, uh, very good looking wide receiver up here as well but quarterbacks they look good um some look worse than others but um did go ahead and scout some of the offensive linemen in this class if it'll ever show um did scout this guy right here brandon cummings right here looks insane uh we could use tackle and guard and all of the above so um we could use just about everyone, uh, probably not a tackle over everybody else, but Tremaine Waller, we also used one on physical skills. He looks all right, nothing like crazy, crazy, um, but does look good for what we scouted him as. And then down the board, we also did um, Tyson Arnold, who doesn't, I mean, he doesn't strike me as like a go-to guy, but... Definitely will be some good guys at our picks, but anyone before that, we don't really want. I don't want another receiver uh, or quarterback, but this right end doesn't look that great either. Justin Walsh uh, just doesn't strike me as a guy. Uh, Jeremiah Jackson looks good. He looks all right, but not, not great. And then Paul Mason, not that great either. So Reggie Rivers might be the guy if uh, we get to take him there, but... I think we're fine just simulating to our pick and seeing who's there. I think that that's doable. And if we don't like anyone, then I'll be it. But Tyson Arnold's already off the board now. That's crazy. But um, looking around now, some of the quarterbacks fell, but Reggie Rivers also here. Uh, Eddie Gates, good. Uh, Tracy Torrance, also here. I mean, these guys fell, but I'm not really looking to take those guys. I think that we can build off of Justin Fields. I don't think that he's like the go-to guy. Like, I don't know if we want to do that, but um, I mean, right here we have a guy that's okay. I mean, a four, six, seven, forty is pretty good. A break sack, A awareness, B deep accuracy, C medium, A short, A under pressure, A on the run. He looks good, but do we take him? That's the issue. Um, throw power is only good. Change of direction. It doesn't look great, but. Um, we'll go ahead and look at Eddie Gates, who's an improviser type. What sort of, uh, ooh, didn't run that, but throw power is great. Uh, a juke move play. I mean, doesn't look bad. It doesn't look worse than the other guy, but I mean, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Do we even want these guys? That's the issue is do we even want these guys? Looking at the wide receiver now, he has like 4-3 speed. A 4 two, nine. Oh my God, is this guy going to be the next thing? 429 a media i mean i'm pulling the trigger right here right now a you just can't pass up a guy like that that is ridiculous to to pass on but uh looking at the board now i mean i'm not gonna regret taking any of these quarterbacks i don't care how good they are this guy actually looked really good and i didn't even see him colin stroud wonder where they got that name from reggie rivers looked good but uh, down the board, I'm sure we can find some offensive linemen. Also needed a tight end. But if anyone really strikes me down the board, I'll, I'm not afraid to trade up. And this guy looks very good in a way. Like, he's a good athlete as well. B man coverage, A awareness, B. B and a C I see on the board and a lot of A to C ranges. So he looks good. We might trade up for him. It's, it's tough. So we're coming up on a few guys that I like. And one of them is this guy right here, James Alonzo. I, he looks crazy good down the board, honestly. And um, Theo Harris, I also looked at. He looks pretty good. But Nathan Miles probably just seems to be my guy. Uh, nine spots down. Uh, Eagles. I mean, I don't think that they'll take a middle linebacker. They just don't need one, simply. Um, this is a spot where I could see one going first pick of the second round. I think that we can make the trade here. All right, so this is a deal I made, by the way. Cody Whitehair is really old. I think we just scrap him um <laughs> we're rebuilding anyways we bring in jordan brooks huge acquisition for this team who really needed linebacker and then we're moving up spots in this year's second round and then we give our second round next year for a fourth round next or this year it's not great i mean 
or whatever. And I was trading up for a linebacker who I'm still going to take, but you know, it's the it's the thought of still getting one at a good price. So, still got Jordan Brooks and then we have Nathan Miles now and then Aziz Alshair on another side. So, I think we can just I'm, I feel comfortable uh, getting the guys that we got. But I feel like if we just go here and then try to look for offensive line, that'd be pretty fun. I don't, I don't know. Look look around. Kirk Ferguson, he looks good. F lead block really sucks as a guard though. But I, he looks really good down the board. He's looking to be a day three pick. I'll, I'll add him to my... Oh, I can't like him right now. So so Kirk Ferguson. Remember him because we might draft him next round or next pick or whatever. This guy right here doesn't look all that great either. But I mean, good for the value of as a day three guy. But nothing I'm like really excited about right now. Now this guy. This guy's interesting. A to C. A to C. Injury. A lead block. B pass block. Really good stuff. A to C, Rombach Finesse. This guy looks good. I'm going to take him now, actually. I know that seems kind of crazy, but I don't have anything else to spend my picks on. So, I mean, can we go to next user pick? I'm going to look around. Kirk Ferguson. I mean, it's the fourth round. We're kind of just gambling on a couple guys right now. And he looks good. F lead block is the one thing that stands out to me. as like, yikes. But... I don't know. I guess we can still kind of shop around, look around, like see what our options are before we just, you know, go with one guy. See, like guys like this, Anthony Smith right here, like he looks good, like with all of his ranges and stuff, but I'm pretty sure he's a bad athlete. Watch this. He's going to like four, six speed, four, five, seven speed isn't horrible, but just not what you're looking for at the position personally for me, at least. Um, and then, yeah, just down the board, there does, it doesn't seem to be any sort of guys where it looks like it might be where it, uh getting honestly none of these guys look really 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 good for like where they're at uh i've had a few of those sometimes where it's like okay these guys look really good from where we stand but i mean we can't afford kirk ferguson's all the way down here so we can't afford to take another pick uh, above him so i'm still gonna look regardless so if we're going best player available i know we just don't need safety at all but we'll go anthony smith here uh, it does have 85 speed, which is not good at all, but uh, might be worth something to trade later. But I uh, do have another fourth round pick that we picked up from the Seattle Seahawks. And we will go ahead and actually take Kirk Ferguson now. Okay, so Kirk Ferguson actually has hidden dev. Love to see that. I mean, that's just not the same guy. Kirk Ferguson and him. Come on now. That ain't the same guy. <laughs> I don't think it matters too much, right? But... <laughs> I think that's really funny. Um, I do have another fourth round pick. All right. Well, this is another deal. We're basically trading away our whole draft next year. <laughs> um, giving away the fourth that we're on right now, the last pick in the fourth round. Basically, we get Sam Cosme, Cole Turner, who's just down the board. We just need a backup tight end. I like him. So we'll just pick up Cole Turner. But basically, we get Sam Cosme. That's cool. Uh, get rid of Dominique Robinson as well. All right, so we actually trade a next year fifth and then the two fifth rounds this year back for a third round pick from the Commanders. And we also trade for a next year fourth using the rest of our draft this year and a sixth round next year. That's pretty cool. All right, and we don't need Brandon Jones anymore because we traded for Sam Cosme as well. And um, so, yeah, Jones is gone. We get rid of two of our next year fourths. We bring in a next year fourth and a next year third, which I do like a lot. All right, we also trade um, a bunch of nonsense for a second next year. So what we're actually looking at next year uh, now in our draft is a first, second, third, and fourth, all from different teams. <laughs> uh, really, we just I just rebuilt the draft, basically, um, using some leftover pieces. We didn't really need Nikhil Harry. We have Velas Jones Jr. behind him as well to develop as a receiver. And uh, we can just go see what our draft picks were now. And yeah, we drafted very good. Oh my goodness. Anthony Smith looked... Is, is horrible but listen tracy torres is an 81 overall wide receiver out of lsu nathan miles was good not great michael adams in the what third round 74 overall fourth round 74 overall so we have our guards of the future now as well tracy torres is insane nathan miles is all right oh my goodness how did we able how are we able to do that we have the best player in the in the the class by four overalls. He's twenty one years old, ninety eight speed. Oh my god! Listen, I know this rebuild was supposed to be about Chase Claypool and really developing him, but 
We just drafted a G, my uh, G's, a G, my, my God, can I talk? We just drafted a, a guy that, why would we use Chase Claypool? If we have Tracy Torrance, new wide receiver one, we got to make sure he's in the slot, dude. Uh, we'll put Chase Claypool in the slot, him at wide receiver two, and then trade away Darnell Mooney or something in the future, maybe. Um, yeah, and then at left guard, let's go ahead. Oh, he's hurt already. Are you what? I don't understand that. And then Adams here at left guard or right guard can go play center and we can trade Lucas Patrick. I think Lucas Patrick is his name. Yeah, Lucas Patrick, 30 years old. So yeah, we have some stuff that we can do here. We can trade uh, Patrick along with Darnell Mooney because uh, we also have Van Jefferson or we could just straight up trade. No, because I feel like, yeah, now we could trade Van Jefferson. I don't know. My brain's kind of coursing right now. It's on a it's on an all-time high, but Cole Turner Backup tight end's pretty good as well. Then defensively, bring in Jordan Brooks, who's really good. Nathan Miles right there as well. I'm going to switch him to right outside linebacker where Sanborn was playing. Uh, it just needs to be there if he's going to be anywhere because we need him on the field. He's going to develop very nicely, I hope. And then, I thought, what, did he have star development or better? Did we have a hidden dev? He does have a hidden dev. And then specialists, we'll have Nathan Miles and Jordan Brooks. At sub uh, linebackers, so that's pretty good. Do need a defensive tackle. Uh, can also trade Alquadine Muhammad. Uh, Tyler Gordon needs to move above Vildor. So, yeah, we have... Oh, I also ended up getting a Keller Witherspoon. I don't know if you guys saw that. But uh, Eddie Jackson also up to Superstar Dev. So we're looking good for just year two. Uh, we can maybe make some noise in the NFC North. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't even have to put... Van Jefferson on the uh, the trade block, and they already have uh, some offers. I mean, looking around, this one looks fine. But I, I J.C. Horn, that's a little interesting. I think we can take that right away. I don't remember what uh, corners are on this team, but I think we'll just go ahead and take that right away. Uh, I, <laughs> it's another day for me. I basically how I do these rebuilds is. Um, just one season per day for four days and i kind of just you know add it on to my my daily whatever you want to call it so uh chase claypool will have to make our wide receiver one just have to and wide receiver there and then ferguson all the way down there that's right and then defensively yes we could have very much used a corner so did go ahead and get jc horn he'll play our corner two for now Jaquan Brisker here. Yeah, we already look pretty good. I'm excited to see um, what we can really do. And I'll go to the regular season and then set the depth chart and then maybe go to midseason. Might make some trades or whatever. All right. At the midseason mark, we are actually 3-3. Three and three, Not bad. And I think we've had a tough schedule so far. We had the, the Kansas City Chiefs along with the uh, the Chargers most recently. But... Good numbers here for Justin Fields. Nothing crazy for midseason, right? But those are good numbers. And then Khalil Herbert is not doing that hot. Thought he'd do a lot better, but he needs to be better. Um, yeah, it not the not the not the stuff I'm looking for there. And then Darnell Mooney, and then Tracy Torrance here at wide receiver. Chase Claypool, Darnell Mooney, and then uh, defense. Uh, so far, nothing really going. So I mean. Really underwhelming beginning part of the season. We're only six games in, though. We've got a lot to go. 11 more to play. Looking at players ready to negotiate is going to be uh, important here. Jalen Johnson obviously going to need that bag. We're going to have to give him quite a bit of money. Doesn't really show interest in coming back. This is where we'll start. So he says you need to do more than Justin or uh, Jordan Brooks here. I don't know why I almost called him Justin. A lot of interest in the team should accept this offer. Yeah. Does get that offer done and off the table. Darnell Mooney's here. Chase Claypool, we obviously have to extend. This whole rebuild was supposed to be around him until we drafted a stud receiver. Try this out here. You need to convince me. Team. <laughs> Fuck you. Travis Gibson's here. 26 years old at a left end. I don't think that he's bad. I think that we can actually lower the money here as well. And uh, yeah, this is exactly the offer I was hoping for. So with a lot of interest, I think all you really have to do Let's turn the years up and then everything else down and you should be able to get them. But uh, the rest of these guys will probably be able to re-sign. Uh, some of them have some 
negotiation. I don't think Darnell Mooney, I mean, it's going to be here. Only an 81 overall in the game sucks, but um, I guess it's understandable not having an overwhelmingly good season. But Chase Claypool uh, will try to keep around. So uh, we'll look and see if I can make any trades. If not, I'm just going to sim a week and try to renegotiate with those guys. And we'll make a little trade for James Robinson since Khalil Herbert really isn't putting up the numbers I thought he might. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just needed to be done. So this team is still very bad, by the way. I don't know if you guys realize, but I definitely didn't. Team still very, very bad. Does look good with James Robinson. Chase Claypool on here. Vavis Jones has to play. Torrance is uh, hurt. So uh, despite injuries being off and uh, pre-existing injuries being off, I, I, I don't know what's really going on. But uh, basically what I have to do is try to negotiate with, who was it? It was... Jalen Johnson and Chase Claypool. So Claypool, uh, last offer we submitted was apparently bad. So we'll just go 0. 0.5 up on each. And then I need a bigger. Wow. That's crazy. Jalen Johnson, last offer I submitted. How was that? Not enough. Um, I'm just comfortable giving him this much. He's not that good. I mean, like, I get it. He's an 84 overall and everything, but he's just not like that. Come on, no. And then we'll give Mr um expensive here cole Komet, a good deal i guess a little bit fine just jones can go uh kindle vildor i don't care about him in the first place but we'll bring him back he could be tradable soon and uh chase claypool uh we're just gonna have to try to convince that convince him that he's right for this team and finally signed him on for nearly 10 mil a year went six million salary and four million signing bonus so that was fun al Muhammad Muhammad no longer going to be here. I promise you that. Justin Jones might as well just like leave him onto the streets. Actually, we'll we'll try to re-sign him. He's 27. We'll keep till he's 32. I don't mind. He's got some very good interest in the team. Should sign for that much right there. And uh, we'll probably just end up trading him in the first place, or I guess in the future. But it doesn't really matter, does it? As uh, we'll just go to the playoffs, see if we made it now that we have everybody else that we want to sign signed. And we went eight and nine, and it looks like we missed the playoffs, which is okay. I'm fine with that. But eight and nine, that's a good start, honestly. All things considered, it is nice. Um, nothing crazy, but it's nice, right? It's a start. Adjusting our lineup. We'll see who we have. I'm not adjusting shit, but I'm, I'm just seeing who we have. Um... Oh my, yeah, he's a superstar X Factor, generational player. Uh, Torrance, sorry, Claypool, you're the, you're out of here. You're not the the main uh, focus of the video anymore. It's this guy right here, Jawan Taylor, Kirk Ferguson, Matt, Michael Adams, Tevin Jenkins, Sam Cosme, Pat Firemuth, Cole Komet make a very good uh, offense and potential. And Miles, Nathan Miles, superstar development. Oh boy, did we have a draft? That is awesome. Really nice to see. I don't know if he just got it or whatever, but I mean, this offense looks good. <laughs> Imagine we had a good quarterback, though. We're saving some money out of the way just in case there ends up being one in free agency or whatever it is. Need to improve in the linebacker department with Aziz Al Shire. I think we can improve on him. Probably get another. I mean, our safety or corners, I guess, are exceptional and they just need to develop a little bit more. Uh, defensive line, especially the interior and one of the edge spots, needs to be filled uh, as soon as possible. But Valus Jones here, I guess, Akello, I don't know, I guess we keep developing Gordon, I don't see the issue, uh, Nathan Miles needs to be a sub linebacker for sure, uh, yeah, and just some of these guys we just need to improve upon, and uh, hopefully James Robinson put up some numbers, we'll go look at the stats now, as uh, we have ended the season, I accidentally just clicked on schedule, so, who whoop to do, that was great, thinking about me, you know, going so fast moving straight along you know and then okay not bad numbers from justin fields all things considered 30 to 7 interception to touchdown ratio isn't bad passing yards could be worse and then james robinson was exceptional uh 4.4 per carry probably look to get him involved a little bit more uh you know come around next year but really good stuff 4.4 4 .4 per carry is pretty good chase claypool was kind of the uh the offense, Tracy Torrance wasn't, but Pat Fryermuth ended up coming in doing well. Bayless Jones actually got quite a bit of snaps, so uh, good to see, I guess. And then, yeah, Aziz Alshair and Jordan Brooks led uh, the, the team, and oh my god, 100 tackles for a corner is crazy. 
Talk is for loss. Travis Gibson's playing well. Al-Qadeen Muhammad, good. Aziz al Shire. I don't know why we have to prove upon him. He's looking very good. Letter was third in our team in sacks, as we just don't get sacks. Jaquan Brisker, four interceptions, really good. Jordan Brooks with two. Jalen Johnson with two. Eddie Jackson with two. Aziz al Shire with one. JC Horn with one. Kyler Gordon for one. So, very, very fun stuff. And uh, I'm excited for this offseason. I don't care about the season recap. Not right now. I just don't care. The Bengals beat the Packers for the Super Bowl. Obviously, that sucks being a Packers fan, but it's a fucking video game, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, other than that, I think we just have re-signed players, then, and if anyone's there, I'll let you guys know, and then uh, we'll move right on to free agency. And right off the bat, someone caught my eye. It was Jeffrey Simmons, who doesn't have interest in the organization, so we're going to have to overpay like crazy. But uh, I don't mind it, especially when we have as much money as we do. Justin Herbert also here wants probably 50 mil per year. Yeah, this would absolutely ruin our bank account. So I'm going to stick with no on that one. It just doesn't seem to be. Oh, Jaden Jalen Hurts is here. He's worth even more. Oh, my God. <laughs> These guys are uh, very expensive. I'm not going to pay for any of those right now. Nope, not, not a quarterback. That is just not me. Jalen Hurts, though. Oh, my God. He's worth a bag and a half. CeeDee Lamb's here. You could bring in some, like, very good off, or very good offensive pieces. Gabe Davis. We don't need. Brandon IU could be fun. Grover Stewart's here. He can come in and improve our interior right away. Two-year deal. I'm fine with that. Go down to six mil with the bonus, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, Grover Stewart could be a big addition immediately. Is there any other smaller names at quarterback? There isn't. It is literally just these two right here. Uh, nah, that's one hell of a free agency class, right? We'll go down and try to find like a backup, like young guy. And here are the offers. Obviously, very high tier stuff. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons, who I don't think that we'll get on the offer that we're offering him. So we're going to have to offer him a lot more than that. We'll go 12 million over 17.5. Uh, just pay him. Way, 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 way too much money. See if he comes down with that. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Sean Gary. You know what? You know what? We're going to stop on Jeffrey Simmons. And then we're actually going to go find who else was in there. It was Javon Kimla uh, right here. Had some interest in the team. A young player. Still could develop him. Uh, and just give him a good deal. And hopefully we can see him over here soon even though we really needed edge over anything else. But Grover's, okay, Rashawn Gary can come off the edge. We'll use the the money to invest in him over anybody else. Go to 9.5, see the deal on that one. Rashawn Gary will have a good deal from us. Grover Stewart has a really good deal. Devin White we're offering on, LaVisca Chanel, and then Javon Kinlaw is getting offered a bag uh, so we'll have to give him the ultimate bag, 4.5, give him over another 14, or 4.5, hopefully have the top offer on him, we should, now, there we go, and um, yeah, basically, just being super careless with our money, and let's evaluate the offers, I just think that's the only good way to, to really cope with it, and we got pretty much everybody, Devin White here, Grover Stewart, Rashawn Gary is a really big one, we just threw all of our money at him though. Uh, hopefully he is pretty good. So let's hope that uh, he ends up being pretty good. And then we don't really need backup running back because, well, there shouldn't be interest uh, injuries on. But I guess Justice Hill will find himself a, a good deal. Yeah, five, and then we can lower down to that, and then like that, and then like that. And then if he wants to come on over to us, he can come on over to us. And then we don't really need anything else, so I'll let you guys know. Did get LaVisca Chanel shortly after I said that. Shortly after I said that. And then Justice Hill, just being stubborn as all hell, gave him a one hell of an offer that he won't be able to find better. And um, just ends up not signing, so I don't know. I mean, we can obviously still sign him. I'm sure he will, but it just didn't sign in that first period. And the draft has started. I'll look around for players that I like might want, but I mean... He might just trade our picks, honestly. Uh, don't need him. Waylon. This guy looks good, James Waylon, right here. Physicals. Um, he's good, I mean, I guess. Uh, a, B, B, C, and A under pressure, throw on the run. This guy looks very good, but I just don't know if he's worth me trading up, especially if we already have um, 
if we already have Justin Fields, and plus this guy also looks pretty good here. Uh, yeah, just some guys that, I mean, I'm not really all interested in all this. I'm not going to lie. Um, a lot of linemen that I don't need. This guy right here could be it. Alfonso Hole. And we're at what? Pick number 16? If Hole's there at 16, then we'll take him. If not, we're going to probably trade our pick. And uh, the moment of truth comes up here and as Hole here. I didn't expect him to be, but... It is what it is. Not really anything I do about it. I didn't want to trade up for him either. And uh, Alex Harris, someone that's supposed to go in the top five. We're not doing that again. No, I'm not taking another super freaking beast <laughs> well, wide receiver. Does look like a really good one right here too. Uh, Tracy Chisholm. That's fine. Wow, a lot of good receivers. Um, I don't know where that came from, but happened. Uh, Kedrick uh, Dupree here. Do we have, what drafts do we have? First, we have early second as well. So I think we can trade our first and then our third. And I think we could trade up with our second to try to get him. I don't No, Actually, we need edge. We need someone on like a right end. So we'll look for that actually. And we got Brian Burns here. We got gave away two first round picks and Dan Moore which I'm fine doing, but I mean, that's going to mess up our scheme a little bit because I got to think about what we're going to do now because we're going to have, I mean, at the left end, we'll have Brian Burns and then obviously these two right here up the interior and then at right end, it's kind of a blank, but uh, Travis Gibson will be playing at right end, but we'll have Rashawn Gary and Brian Burns off of the edge and then these two up the middle and then that way, uh, I mean, Travis Gibson will still get some time playing, but I just don't think that it'll be like as much as he was getting, even though he's playing really well. So I don't know. We'll see how the scheme works out, but I think we kind of have to adjust it a little bit. And this will go through just getting Byron Murphy, getting rid of Akella Witherspoon, Justin Jones out of here. And then we have to do favors. We have to get favors for uh, cap reasons. And then we still have 75 mil left. So, I mean, interesting to see what we can do here. And we'll trade a fourth then, Aziz Alshair, just for Alec Pierce, because we can and we need like a wide receiver four sort of deal. So, you might see the field a little bit. And we have no picks remaining. We'll just send to the end of the draft and uh, look at our roster. And I'm surprised to see this team as low overall as it is. It's not like that. I mean, honestly, we have a really good, I mean, a quarterback could help us out a lot other than Justin Fields. I mean, he's fine. But did end up bringing in a few names, right? Like, we have good players all over the place. I mean, I just don't know what we could do more. Jaquan Brisker, by the way, is up to Superstar. Or Superstar, just that much if you guys didn't really know that. Brian Burns off of one end. Uh, Gibson off the other. Brought Byron Murphy in to, uh, to play. JC Horn will be our cornerback three. And our specialists, our defense will look like Javon Kinlaw. Grover Stewart up the middle, and then Rashawn Gary and Brian Burns right there. Then we'll have Jordan Brooks, Devin White, two really good sub linebackers. Nathan Miles will play uh, a little bit. I mean, I hate to say that he's a waste of a pick, but I mean, a waste of a superstar player. I like that, though. But uh, yeah, I think this team is built for success, so I'm excited to see what they do this upcoming season. Offensive line, it's not like it's weak or anything either, so I don't really know what's holding this team's overall down. I mean, obviously, it's a pretty good team, but I think it should be a little bit over that. I mean, I, I could see like an 83 overall, like total, like 83 overall defense is good, but like the offense would be like an 84, and the defense could maybe even be an 85. So yeah, we'll see what uh, tomorrow's Ian does with this team. All right, we're going to start off today with a bang. Uh, this is a trade that goes through. Listen, I'm going to trade a lot because <laughs> this just didn't make sense financially. But Jalen Johnson, 85 overall and kind of just whatever. You guys see the trade. It might not look good now, but I promise it will. Just give me a moment. So we're going to put this pick together and this pick probably if I had to guess. And then we'll go to corner and then go to Xavier Howard. And then we're going to look for someone that can harbor all of this. And we'll get Legereus Snead. He's one overall worse than Xavier Howard. I picked up Madre Stevenson in free agency and finessed the game. There you go.
And we'll go on to the mid-season mark. I'll let you guys know what our record is. And wow, we are 5-2 and two here at the middle season mark. Have a weekly award. And it's Justin Fields. Look at that. Four touchdowns off of 19 completions. It's very good. Very nice to see our team's doing well. 5-2, uh, and two, and we just actually gave Packers their first, or gave the Packers the first loss of the season for them in Week 7. And we'll go ahead and just upgrade all of our players like so. And, yeah, I mean, we're making good. Oh, Jordan Brooks has a new ability unlocked. Oh, my lighty. Um, short route KO, recuperation, tip drill, run stopper. What do we want? What do we want? We want inside stuff. No, it just doesn't fit him. Deflator would be nice. Yeah. Assistant. What? Give him something good. Demoralizer, secure tackler. Your success rate when. Oh, okay. No. Uh, I mean, what do we want? No outsiders is here. Crusher. Yeah, I like that. That, that Those look good. Uh, I don't know if they would work well without a user, but, um, sure. We'll just do that. Uh, weekly awards, and then players ready to negotiate. Who do we have to negotiate with? Javon Holland's here. We have to pay him. We have to. It's essential to this team. And he actually has some interest in the team, so hopefully he comes on for that. He does. And our cap room, I mean, look at it. We've got so much money we could just pour on these guys. He has a lot of interest in the team, so I think we should be fine with this right here. Another good contract. J.C. Horn, no interest in the team. I don't care. I will give this man the bag because, wow, a bigger offer than that. Then Justin Fields is here. He's going to be all of our cap space and some, except he has interest. So I th think we can go like this, and then the offer is perfect. And we saw 56 mil left. And Sam Cosme is going to have to come on five years, go 3.5, and then three, and see if that's good. It is. Stealing out contracts right now. Tevin Jenkins is here. We'll have to go five years, 3 million, 2.5, see if that gets it done. It does. And anybody else want to get extended because I'm on a roll. Uh, Chase McLaughlin's here. Don't need him. Don't need him. And then, uh, yeah, J.C. Horn needs to be... Uh, Resign though still but uh looking around i don't know what do we want to uh focus on player wise um we could use a better wow what could we use a better of like a, a running back though i mean that's like the only thing i can think of an offensive line um interior offensive line i guess i don't want to manage scouts no i want to go that focus and then go interior offensive line right here and just pick that i guess why not but we'll see what we can do with that one right there we don't even have a good pick uh coming up here you weekly awards we already did that and then we'll go ahead and advance the week just so oh i didn't make any trades i didn't need to anyways so we're good um just need to resign jc horn and then i'll be on my way to the playoffs i'll let you guys know and we went 9-8, and eight, and it looks like we missed the playoffs. So, I don't know really what to tell you. I, I'm pretty sure we missed the playoffs. Like, just don't think that we are involved in when we are not. So, uh, just missed the playoffs once again, which sucks. But we did make a lot of good extensions for not a lot of money at all. So, pretty chilling, honestly, if you had to ask me. We're doing very well. Let's look at the uh, the, the, the numbers on the year. Obviously, need to do that. Oh, my God. Justin Fields had a lot of touchdowns, but not a lot of yards, which is, I mean, okay. I guess if he's winning us football games. And then, yeah, James Robinson was really good. And then uh, Justin Fields actually had some production on the ground. Nothing too crazy, though. Justice Hill was here. How many fumbles? Oh, just one fumble for Justin Fields. I was expecting more. That Fryermuth actually led our receivers, which is interesting. Tracy Torrance was here as well. 13 touchdowns for Chase Claypool. That is a... Really good, solid season. 13 touchdowns. Yeah, that's I'll take that any day of the year. Devin White, Jordan Brooks here, Jaquan Brisker as well. And then it didn't look like we get much sack production, but uh, Brian Burns did. 18 tackles for loss, 12 sacks. Javon Kinlaw, 17. Rashawn Gary, 13. So uh, two new acquisitions, not that great. Acquisitions. Why do I feel like that is the wrong word? Acquisition. I feel like that's like rape acquisitions, right? Acquired, like we acquired. I don't know what the word is for that. I, 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 so dumb. But yeah, we move on to the off season, uh, where we will make some things happen. And these are gonna be my offers. So, uh, 
Trump, Tommy Trumbull just makes the team a little bit better. Najee Harris will be the one that I would really like to bring in. We'll go ahead and evaluate the offers. Wouldn't be surprised if we got all these guys. Just just Najee? Okay. Uh, and Tommy Trumbull actually has a really good offer. I don't care. We have Cole Turner as the tight end three, so it doesn't like really matter that much if we lose him. It's just these two I'm waiting on, so we can just pretty much go to the draft now. And on the draft board now we're gonna look for some players see if we need to make a trade or see something the only thing i'd ever consider right now is a center so uh this one looks insane <laughs> i look at him and uh he looks pretty good uh he just doesn't look like special but he looks really good yeah this guy looks insane when is he supposed to go 15 so i think i'll trade up to like well, we'll see. We'll go to, like, number 10. If he's there, I'll try to trade up. Uh, I mean, I have nothing better to do, so... Wait, I just messed up. All right, well, we'll see if there's a center here, I guess. <laughs> uh, trust me, that was not on purpose, and if it was, I would let you guys know. I just don't know why that happened, but... Well, just actually go to the center prospects because that's literally the only position I'd be willing to take right here. This one's not bad. Junior Williams looks like as good, if not uh, better, than the last one. And yeah, he looks really good. It's the second round. He's supposed to go to round three and four. Can I trade down a little bit? We're at pick number 16. I, I'm going to try to make something work. Uh, forget about drafting that one. Um, I think that we'll just do this right across James Robinson the second and Matt Ad or Michael Adams for Frank Ragnow. I think that helps our case pretty good. And we'll also trade for Montez Sweat. So uh, that's cool. We didn't really need him, but we have extra cap space. And if we're going all in, we're going all in. And we're trading for a better backup running back in Michael Carter. I, I mean, we just had Justice Hill, so. We're looking at this right here. Justin Fields at uh, quarterback. Both these two at running back. And wide receiver looks pretty good. Right there, there's my top four. Pat Fryer, Michael Komet, Cole Turner. Looks good. Tackle. I mean, the whole offensive line looks good. And then uh, left end, Brian Burns. Defensive tackles are those two. Montez Sweat, Rashawn Gary, Jordan Brooks, Nicholas Morrow's here. Uh, could use a better, like, backup left outside linebacker. We have... Or I guess we could use, I don't know what we really could use. Nothing really. We could use an upgrade at corner if I can find the right fit, but I guess we'll see. And we're simming to the end of the draft now. And then um, I'll let tomorrow's Ian help you guys uh, adjust here to the next part of the season where we're 87 overall. And uh, we have a lot to look forward to. And um, I'm back with the the rebuild. I know it hasn't been any time for you guys, but it's been a day for me. So I kind of got to refresh myself on all the moves we made, especially after the video I just made. I just did the Sam Howell career sim. I don't know if that'll come out before or after this video, but that was a video and a half that forever. But yeah, okay. So we did make some very, very good moves all around. We just had some uh, some money to spare. So I remember going out and trading for a guy like Najee Harris. And, uh, yeah, Tracy Torrance here is, is hurt. But at the specialist, I like what I see, kind of, in a way. That's cool, fun, whatever. Jordan Brooks will be right there. Nicholas Morrow's still on this team. Could use a better interior guy, actually. Now that I think about it, we could use a really good... Okay, well, I know what I'm trading for. And we get 88 overall. Derek Brown added to the squad, just using some leftover draft capital. And uh, we'll look around, you know, see if we could use anything else, I guess. Chase Claypool here, we kind of have to have him. That was the whole purpose of this rebuild, was kind of develop him, right? But didn't end up happening when we got uh, the other guy, Tracy Torrance or whatever his freaking name is. But yeah, we'll, we'll keep looking around, see if I can make any moves. I doubt I can. I think this team's as good as we'll get and uh, as good as I want it to get for now. So still have 36 million just in case any big contracts come up. I can probably afford about two or three big contracts uh other than that i really don't know but we'll go to the mid-season mark see how we can finish off uh or see how we can do this season of the rebuild starting off three and three is not what i wanted to do but whatever justin fields not having a great uh season and Najee harris having an okay one nothing too too crazy tracy torrance comes back in after injury 
goes all right. And defensively, what are we looking at? Devin White and Jordan Brooks at the top of the tackle list, as they should be. Brian Burns, seven TFLs. Derek Brown instantly coming in and making an impact, being second in TFLs and sacks right behind Brian Burns, who is first in both. Um, I don't know. We'll see how the, le the, the rest of the season kind of pans out. Go ahead and upgrade our players and um, see if we can go another season after this one. I think that's likely if we don't win this year. Um, I, we'll, we'll see. And we're 9-8. and eight. We made a wild card spot. Woohoo, right? If we have this good of a team, what's, what's a wild card spot? It's awesome, right? No. Wild card spot sucks. When you're an 80, what? 88 overall, 91 overall defense. And we're in a wild card spot. Our offense sucked. Our defense was really good. But our offense sucked. And I'm assuming that would have to do with Justin Fields throwing for the 27th most yards in the league at 3,800. Guy's a bum. We need a new. We need a new quarterback. Is that a trade I can make, or even this off season? I don't know if we have to. No, we just extended him. Frick. We need something. <laughs> we'll go ahead and advance the week. See if we can beat the Washington Commanders. Um, we lose. Woohoo! We lost. We lost at an 89 overall team. I don't know what to tell you. Javon Holland, stud. And I forgot to look at contracts at the midseason mark. So we are really screwed. We have 18 players ready to negotiate and they're going to be good, huh? No. No. Yes. No. No. I could go without some of these guys. This is good. Oh my god, this is super good. We literally have like one or two guys that I want to bring back. One of them actually happens to be very important and has no interest. So we'll have to give him... All the monies in the world. Hopefully signs back for that. He'd like to play for a new team I just gave you. Like the biggest bag ever. And Grover Stewart. We'll sign you on. You'll probably be like a sign and trade guy. Go to 6 million, 4 million here. We've got the money to do so. To do so. And looking around. Jaquan Brisker. How much the franchise tag? 18 mil. Not happening. Alec Pierce I guess can stay. If he wants to for cheaper. Like, if he wants to take this deal right here, I'm fine with it. 77 overall. Uh, right there, I think that's okay. Kyler Gordon's here. Sure, if he wants back, I'm back. I'm fine with it. Should sign on for this. Right there. Uh, 70 mil still left. Don't need Bayless. He's 29 already. Uh, Cole Turner. Sure, sure. Come on, Cole. You've got some interest in the team. Just go up 1.5 right there. Think free agency will be any No, it's not. I just offered you like three per year, and you're like, no, I'm good. Sort of bozo are you, and we'll have free agency next. Chris Olave's here. That could be really fun, but uh, could use another backup tight end. I think Isaiah likely is the guy. Go five years, 2.5. He has some interest, and I think that that will do it for that. Then at the left tackle spot, Juwan Taylor, I think that's good. I don't think that we need... I think we're good at offensive line in general. Left end, also good defensive tackles. Uh, probably could use an upgrade over Grover Stewart, and Deron Payne would be the guy to do it. He's got a lot of interest in the team, and he's not that much money, all things considered, especially if we trade away Grover Stewart, uh, which would probably be my, my uh, go-to in the long run. Outside linebacker, we're fine. Middle linebacker, we're fine. Outside linebacker, once again, we're fine. Corners, could use one uh, if we wanted, but uh, if not, I think we're okay. Dax Hill to come play strong safety for us would not be a bad shout, considering that Jaquan Brisker doesn't want to come back anyways. So I think that if we can get Dax Hill, uh, I think on a five-year, with all the interest he has, this should be a wonderful, wonderful deal for him. I think that that'll do the trick. Justin Reed, we could bring in, but it's just not worth it. And then, yeah, targeted. These will be our contracts. We are not leader on Dax Hill as we need to be. I'll go up to five million, and then three point five million signing bonus, and that should do it for just about him. Everyone, no. Washington's out. Are you kidding me? Well, we're gonna go bring in Justin Reed then. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, this. why is he so expensive? What in the world? Um, 
Does he have any other contracts that we're competing with? No, we should be fine there. So targeted, go to top 100, and I guess do this. We're spending so much money. Deron Payne, we're not even top on. But we got Deron Payne, Justin Reed, and Isaiah Likely. So that's good stuff right there. Chris Olave goes to the Chiefs. That's dangerous. But yeah, we got it done. We got our deals done. So we'll go ahead to the draft now. We don't even have a draft. No, we'll just go right past the draft into next season. And before this final season here, we have a lot of potential to do really, really well. And I think that we just need a few things to put us over the top, right? And I think that that would end up being a brand... Oh, what happened to my edge? I don't know. We'll have to trade for one then. And we'll just go ahead and get George Karloftis, get Grover Stewart off our books. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to see what else we can do. I wiggle around, I guess. And we'll bring in someone who really knows how to win, and that is Dak Prescott. Just kidding. He doesn't know how to win. We'll, we'll bring him in. He's a slight improvement over uh, Justin Fields and just give away some dead cap or draft stuff that we don't need. So, uh, yeah, off to midseason. And see, this is what I was hoping to see. We are 5-2. and two. That's what I like to see. We're 5-2. and two. Like, what, did, what? not even quarterback is pushing us over the edge here. Najee's playing really well. Uh, Tracy Torrance here doing well. It's Claypool playing a really good support role, actually, on just 29 catches. Has really good numbers. And, I mean, we're 5-2 and two somehow. I mean, we're not even playing that well offensively. But apparently we are. We're 6th offense and 4th defense. Uh, that's what I like to see. And that is what a 90-something overall what it should do. Like, we are how how high of an overall are we again? Oh, that's right. We're an 89 overall with a 91 overall defense. Yeah, I, I'd much rather be playing, like, like, this is how we'd be playing. Like, realistically, you had this team. Look, look, look at this team right here. Tell me we're not winning a, a Super Bowl <laughs> immediately. This is a squad and a half, especially with this defense right here. This is a, a very good squad. For some reason, Montez, okay, so we didn't need George Karloff this, but uh, hopefully he's not coming off of one of the edges. He's not. Deron Payne probably should start there. And then, yeah, Monta Sweat isn't even playing as much <laughs> as he probably should. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see how this, this team can finish this, uh, this season. And this will likely be our last. So, hopefully it's good. We finish at 11-6. and six. I guess that is okay. I, I guess that's fine. I don't know why it's like this. Dak Prescott is even putting up numbers. Probably should have changed the playbook a while ago, but I just felt comfortable with this one as we kept on winning. And this is why we got Michael Carter, by the way, because he gets 108 carries. Uh, so just in case you guys were curious why I put some in and got 10 touchdowns as well. So receiving-wise, though, not a single soul over 1,000. That's super disappointing. Uh, 19 TFLs coming in and making an impact immediately. Derek Brown, 14 sacks for Brian Burns. We had a really good season, really good squad, and this is what they should have been doing all along. Looking at the overall ranks, we ended up 7th overall offense and 2nd overall defense. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's a squad if it if it isn't. I don't know what is. We We have probably the best team in NFL history right now, all assembled and somehow still making it work with cap and everything like that cap room and we'll go ahead and advance the week hopefully we can beat the washington commanders we win the washington commanders game and we have a weekly award i guess defensively though is it uh it is dak prescott who uh puts up four passing touchdowns so that's pretty cool on 18 completions only missed four of his throws so that is some conservative stuff there from dak prescott but hey if it's gonna win us a game it'll It'll do us well. Derek Brown up to a 90 overall, playing well in his first year as a Bear. That just feels like a Bear. I don't know why. Uh, playing in the division now against our division rivals, we lose. Well, that was the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like. It helps out a lot with algorithm. If not, uh, subscribe if you guys like the, the content. See you guys later.